Welcome to week number three in the Tour de Kim O'Neill coaching video series. I'm so happy to have you here. I'm so excited. Here we are smack dab in the middle of October 2019. And if you've been with me from the beginning of this month, then you know that this month I'm really, um, I'm here to showcase you, to you, how my coaching journey went from employment interview coaching to transformational personal coaching to energy healing work podcasts and more and really connect all those pieces but more importantly provide you with useful securing your first podcast interview navigating your personal life journey forward and more so so before we get into that, I let me take a quick look here at today's video. If you are with me live, go ahead and say hello in the comments. Let me know that you're here. And today, you know, I, I, I really had to think about this, about transformational coaching, because there's a lot that goes into it. And so in a little bit, what I'm going to share with you is you could certainly look at them as topic tips. But another way of looking at it, and I'm going to really focus on uh, this way, is that I'm going to provide you with five key elements to be factoring in on your journey forward, whatever that may be, whether it's a whether it's a tangible, specific goal that you're looking to achieve, or maybe it's an inner state of being that you're looking to achieve. Whatever that may be, there are going to be some key elements that I think are really important that I have um, from both my personal and professional experience in coaching that I'm going to share with you. But before we get into that, I want to go ahead and uh, share with you a little bit more about how did I go from interview coaching to personal coaching to empowerment coaching to transformational coaching. You may have heard the term life coaching. I don't use life coaching as much uh, because I, while that does help depict what a life coach does, it's also incredibly vague and doesn't quite hit the spot for me. So, so let me share with you what this, this journey has been like for me. And I shared a little bit about this in the first video I did a few weeks ago about employment interview coaching. And that really was about, you know, being in this space of so eager to begin coaching. And, and I started with interviews. I was so passionate about that. I knew that I could absolutely serve and support my clients and being able to present their best self in their next job interview and get that job. And really from the very first client through pretty much everyone, everyone that I ended up coaching, there was a common theme. And that common theme was ultimately lacking a sense of confidence in, in who my clients were, in what they're good at, in what they know, and really being able to showcase that to a potential future employer. And so the, the common, you know, statements that would come up in sessions would be because I would be talking with the client about, you know, what are your strengths? Right. And and what experience do you have? And and really just getting clear on on how do you talk about what you do and all of that. And so as we were going through that, the common statements that were coming up were things like, oh, well, I don't I don't feel comfortable talking about myself. Right. I don't, I don't feel comfortable talking about myself. I you know, what if I'm not really as good as I think I am? Or, you know, I don't want to sound like I'm bragging. And all of those statements, I, especially, you know, the bragging one, right? I think we can all understand that. N none of us want to come across as if we're like boasting and bragging, but there's a difference. There's a difference between knowing who you are and being able to really stand in that and own that and communicate that versus bragging. And, uh, you know, there's a difference in the, intent. And one of the best gifts you can give to yourself is really being able to, to own who you are, to really embody that, be that, to showcase that, whether it be in your, your personal life or your professional life. So, so that was this common theme that I was seeing come up in interviews. And, uh, you know, 
even though I started with interviews and I was so passionate and focused on that at the time, I also knew that at some point along the way, my coaching journey was going to evolve. And I'm so grateful that it had, because certainly as it was important for me to gain, uh, you know, just more professional credentials and education under my belt to fully support my personal coaching clients and all coaching clients really, that I was able to just further deepen how I can serve my personal coaching clients. So let me just, let me just point out, I think it's already obvious, but let me just point out that I use the terms personal empowerment and transformational interchangeably. <laughs> and so that leads me into, you know, I know there are still some people out there who are like, you know, life coaching, like life coaching, what's that? I remember, I remember one of the first times I had put together a website and I had someone review the website and, you know, just give me some feedback on it. And this was someone that didn't know anything about coaching. And they actually asked the question, I don't remember their exact words now, but they said something like life coaching. What is that? Like how to be competitive at life? Um, because they're coming from that, that mindset or that perspective of, sports coaches, right? And so I just want to throw that out there in case maybe you are new to coaching as well. No, this is not about being competitive at life. Uh, but if you want to look at it in the sense of, you know, being, you know, your best self, right? Being able to, to move in the direction that you would like to, to move, to accomplish the goals you would like to accomplish of being able to experience more of what you would like to experience in your life. And, have support along the way because none of us were given a manual, right? On how to, uh, you know, here you go, you were born, now here's your manual on life. <laughs> but what's really awesome about coaching is you're able to have someone that's able to, to see things that you may not be able to see for yourself, your own blind spot, someone who can help guide you, direct you, and really help you to, enhance your awareness about your journey and also act as a mentor and potentially provide you some, some, some tips and guidance all along your journey. So, so if you're new to coaching, no, this is not about being competitive at life. <laughs> and, um, what I have discovered is that all coaching, is both empowering and transformational. All coaching, really regardless of what it's focused on, whether it's whether it ha the coach has a specific niche that they're helping you with or not. Coaching is just that wonderful. So <laughs> that's how I look at it. So let me take a quick look over here and Awesome. We are doing great and we're on track to probably have another little bit of a, a long video again today and that's okay. Um, but just looking at the time, seeing where we're going right now. So the next thing I want to share with you, and this is just talking about coaching in general first. So pers pers personal coaching is that you know, something that as, as a coach, something I have at times found challenging myself is really being able to define, you know, as your coach, this is what you need to do and then do this and then do that and then do this. That's not to say that I don't have plenty of that to share with you, but it's because I absolutely believe that you are unique. You are not cookie cutter. None of us are cookie cutter beings. And so, what is really important to me and something I love about the coaching that I provide my clients is that I really listen to where are, you know, what are the areas that may be gaps for them where they, you know, could use some extra guidance, awareness, some insight on this or that. Um, I am in the process of creating a program, but Outside of that, outside of a program, which is going to have, you know, let's do this and this and this, personal coaching is a bit more free form. So you still have your end result goal, but
but then it's you move within the flow of the sessions to uncover those pieces that support you in moving forward. So I just want to really highlight that because that's been something that I've had to get clear on of, you know, if I'm going to talk about transformational coaching, like we're doing uh, today, and I'm going to share with you more in just a few moments, is, is it really that I'm sharing with you top tips or are these really more, more key elements of things to be aware of, of aspects of your journey and of, of what's going on with you to be paying attention to? that are gonna support you in your journey forward. So, with that said, absolutely, there are a lot of things that we all have in common, even you know, with as unique as you are, as we all are. And one of them, before I really get into my key elements, is the importance of love, right? We all know this, we all need love. We all benefit from having shelter, right? We all benefit from connections with other people. And so love actually plays a really huge role in your own personal transformational journey. And what I'm really getting at is the love that you're giving yourself. And so this starts to show up in in pretty much every session on some level is what, you know, to what degree are you giving yourself love? I'm, I'm certain you give the people in your life love, right? You love your friends, you love your family, you love your pets. Maybe you love your job or maybe you don't, <laughs> you know, your, your surroundings, but all of that love that you give outward to what degree, degree are you giving it inwardly? And how does that take shape for you? So that's a a core element I'm not even going to touch on in my five key elements that I absolutely want to highlight because the degree of love that you are giving yourself can impact all these other key elements that I'm about to share with you. So, okay. Wanted to share that with you. And moving right along, taking a look at my notes here really quick because there's so much that I can share with you today. So, so much. And I was like, five, should I stop at five, six, seven, eight? (laughs) Uh, But I'm going to allow this to be, um, you know, basic foundational stuff that we all have those moments where it's like, wait, 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 go back to basics, you know, go, go back to my foundation. And so that's what I'm providing for you here in this video. (sighs) And yeah, So bear with me here. Just looking at my notes, taking a look at the screen here. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get into those five key elements and there'll probably be some other things that I infuse as we move along. But my first key element and these to some degree do flow into a sequence and yet at the same time it's kind of one of those things that can absolutely be rearranged with with whatever's going on with you you may have some of these like down pat they're easy for you that you don't even think about them but other things you want to might become more aware of right so first key element for navigating any transformational journey forward any journey is really transformational, I think, is being aware of your energetic alignment, your emotional alignment. This is going to impact everything, 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 everything. So your energy is is not only impacting you, but it's impacting everything around you. It's impacting the goal that you've set for yourself. I want to move towards this thing. And so you want to be aware of, you know, what's going on with your energy, what's going on with your emotions. They're pretty much, they're very closely the same thing. Um, You know, how are you feeling down to, you know, an, uh, an emotional state to a physical feeling in your body? 
to what are you sensing even around you? And how is that impacting you? And what's going on with your energy? Are you able to raise your energy and maintain a certain vi high vibrational level of, of energy? Or are there things in your life that are continually draining your energy that regardless of your efforts, other people and things around you are maybe impacting you in a way that in a way defeats the efforts that you put into raising your energy, you know, maintaining your energy, that kind of thing. So you really want to be aware of that. The more you are in alignment with who you truly are, which of course requires you to know who you are and to own that and embody that, right? Kind of going back to what I was saying earlier, the more that you are in alignment with that and in alignment with that direction that you're headed, the faster I totally hear a caveat on my head. The faster you will be able to get to your destination, the faster you will be able to accomplish your goal. And that's not necessarily stamping a timeline on something, but you'll have fast, you'll experience faster results versus when your energy is constantly shifting and being drained and going up and down and all over the place. So that's why this is really important because this is kind of one of those things that can it's invisible, right? We, we don't necessarily see our own energy, but we experience our own energy. And you, you are your number one asset. You're that number one person that ultimately is, is responsible for the res results you experience in life. And that's a whole other conversation. I'm just going to leave it at that, right? So, so being aware of your energetic alignment, your emotional alignment is incredibly huge and very key in navigating any journey forward. And this is going to come up in a couple of these other key elements that I'm going to share with you here. So the next thing is you're, you're, you're moving forward in life, whatever that may be. Well, and that's essentially it. What is that destination? So this is my number two key element in navigating your journey forward. What is your destination? Are you aware of what your destination is? What are you moving towards? So you may know that I don't want to be here right now, but have you actually defined where are you headed? What is the end goal? And when I say end goal, you know, let's say you're at point A here and you want to move towards point, point you want to move towards point B. Well, point B, once you accomplish that, actually just becomes the next point A to, you know, then point C, right? So there's never an end to all the different things that we can move towards and accomplish. So it's key to know where you are, but then you want to know where you're headed. Otherwise, being aware of your energy isn't going to be able to have a focused direction to move towards if you haven't declared a destination for yourself and for the efforts that you're putting into moving forward. Your destination could be something such as I want to finish my, I want to finish my college degree. I want to, you know, get a promotion at work. I want to, uh, you know, I want to be in a relationship and get married. I want to, you know, take a trip to, you know, the Mediterranean. <laughs> That's one of my, one of mine. <laughs> Your destination could be like that, a goal that you want to achieve that's specific like that. It could also be something as simple as I'm tired of feeling a lack of confidence and I would like to feel more confident in my life. I'm ready to be that confident person. Maybe you're a shy person and you know, gosh, I, I love singing, but I need to be more confident in order to really put myself out there and, and sing on a stage, perform somewhere. It could be something as simple as, you know, I, I've been in a, a state of, of, of grief, of different things that have happened in your life, of past wounds, you know, emotional, I want to say emotional traumas. And with that caveat said, I want to say that there's, there's a line between coaching and therapy. And so depending on what's going on with you, um, therapy may actually be the 
the healthier route to go versus coaching, depending on whatever's going on with you. But let's say coaching is the right avenue for you. Absolutely, coaching is fantastic for being able to shift and work through old emotional states and, and like I said, emotional traumas and things from the past that maybe you've still been hanging on to. And maybe you're ready to say, gosh, you know what? This is just, this is just holding me back. This is weighing me down. I'm ready to feel, you know, more joyful. I'm ready to feel happy again. I'm, I'm ready to feel free and not be weighted down by, you know, the, the grief over, you know, someone who died, or maybe it's, you know, maybe you had a really awful childhood and you're like, I'm so tired of this, um, you know, creeping up into my adult life and, and really, throwing me off course and stuff like that. And with that said, um, just another little added tip is that when you're working through anything, there tend to be some layers. So don't be hard on yourself if you've been working on something from the past and then kind of there's another layer of it. It's okay. In many ways, that is normal, okay? Um, what is key is when you just say yes and you start. You start start that journey towards where you'd like to be, where you'd prefer to be. You don't know how you're going to get there, but you're like, okay, I'm ready. I, I don't, I don't know how, but I'm ready to say yes to that. That is what I want. That's what I want. And so that's one of the really phenomenal, awesome, fantastic things about coaching because your coach is going to help get you there. I will help get you there. So so those are just different ways to look at, you know, a journey forward, a goal, a destination, have you defined where you're headed? What is that? What does that look like? You know, what's the vision for that? What are the thoughts and beliefs you have about that? I'm starting to move into my next little element here as I wrap up number two. So making sure that you are aware of knowing where you're headed. That is my second key element in navigating your transformational journey forward. Key element number three <laughs> is the quality of your thoughts, beliefs, emotions. The quality of those things. Because, uh, you know, and I thought about looking this up before today, but I, I, I'm not going to. I'm sure you've heard that you have every single day somewhere around, you know, 60,000 thoughts a day, 80,000 thoughts a day. And the majority of those thoughts you are probably not aware of, which means somewhere down below they, you know, in your subconscious, you've got uh, some beliefs that have been rooted in that you no longer even consciously think about. They just are. They're just part of who you are and, and how you respond to things. And then you've got the thoughts that you are aware of and thoughts that may that may serve you in moving in the direction towards your destination and then thoughts that may actually limit you and hold you back. Thoughts that may be creating an extra roadblock. I keep moving my hands. I don't know how, to what degree you can always see my hand gestures, but so this is why you want to be aware and same goes for your emotions, your emotions, right? So you may say, Gosh, I'm, you know, I'm so excited to get that promotion at work. That is my, that's my goal. And then yet have some resistance. That is a big word using coaching. Have some resistance towards that thing you say you want, because maybe you also have a belief of like, oh gosh, but if I get that promotion, that means I'm going to have to work with that boss and I don't want that boss and da, da, da. So it's like competing competing energies there. There's the energy of, gosh, I really want this, this promotion. And then there's the energy of, oh, but I don't want to work with that boss. So it's kind of like going to keep you back here at this place where, you know, so you don't have to deal with that then. So you don't have to deal with that boss. And this is also where being aware of your energy, which is also being aware of your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions, because those are energies too. What's got the greater momentum? Is it your passion for this destination you're moving towards? Or is it the intensity you feel about, oh, I don't want to work with that boss. So this is, this is where 
you know, being on that transformational journey, coaching, being aware of your energy, working through your emotions, shifting your, your energy, allowing yourself to heal from whatever may need to be healed. Or maybe it's about forgiving certain people. That can be a place where a lot of energy gets trapped as well. Being aware of these things can support you in, in opening up more space. What other beliefs could you have about working with that boss? Is that boss always going to be in that role? Maybe they move on to another position in your company, right? There are other thoughts and possibilities that you may not be factoring in that can support you in developing higher quality thoughts. And by higher quality thoughts, I mean thoughts that are a higher vibration, but also going to support you in moving in the direction that you desire to move in. So these are really important because they factor into everything. And it's part of that whole being in energetic alignment piece. If the destination is over there, but you've got thoughts that are taking you over here, well, you know, it's going to be some sort of zigzag wonky journey which we're all familiar with, right? <laughs> and so this is where coaching can be really awesome because it supports you in streamlining and finding your way around, over, through all of these other pieces. They're going to show up on your journey forward. So, okay, the quality of your thoughts, beliefs, emotions, so incredibly important. I can say actually so much more on that, but uh, we're, we're going to leave this we're going to leave it there for right now. Okay. So number four, number four on navigating your transformational journey forward is your support system. Your support system is incredibly important. Now, what do I mean by support system? Well, first and Foremost, I'm sure what's coming to mind for you may be the people in your life, right? The, your, the friends and family, and to what degree is your, to what degree are they supportive of you, towards you? But I actually mean, and I mean that, but I also mean beyond that, what energetic support do you have? So yes, absolutely, the people in your life have the potential to impact you energetically. And that's something you can work with. It's not, um, it's not about them needing to change. It's about what can you do to, to work within that. Uh, but just you alone, what's going on with your energy and is your energy supported? So there I'm a big fan of grounding your energy and there are a variety of ways that you can do that. But once you start to do that, that is something you can do all on your own that's going to support you in feeling more stable and, and as if you have a firm foundation as you are making changes, as you are making you know these transitions in your life. When we go through a transition, we can start, especially depending how far outside our comfort zone we're going, we can start to feel uh-oh, ungrounded, right? Like unstable footing, like a baby walking for the first time. Uh-oh, I don't know if I can do this, right? You're still developing. You may be, you may, because you may not be, but you may still be developing a sense of belief in your ability to achieve, you know, to accomplish and get to that destination that you've set for yourself. And so while you're in that space of, of being uh, being brave and amazing, being courageous of saying yes to yourself and moving in the direction of where you feel called to go to go. Okay, I want to point that out because I wholeheartedly believe in that. Anytime you say, you know what, I think I'm done in this place and I'm ready to move over here. That's like a hallelujah celebrate party. <laughs> <laughs> and I applaud you for choosing to make that decision for yourself. 
because that takes a lot of courage. And, and I just, you know what, I hope you are celebrating yourself if you are on a journey like that already. Okay. But so let's say, you know, you, you haven't quite developed that, that full hundred percent belief in if you can do it or not, you think you can, you want to believe that you can, but you also know that you could potentially be taken off course. If something or someone starts to infuse a sense of doubt, a lack of belief in your ability to be able to move forward. So, so number one, understanding your own energy and applying techniques to support you in feeling more physically, energetically supported all on your own, that is one way to strengthen your support system. The second way is be aware of who is going to be supportive of you. And sometimes you may not be aware until after you, you know, start to talk to people about your dreams and goals, but pay attention to that because you don't have to share your dreams and goals with everybody. And in fact, if you are in a state of knowing that you're still, you're still, you know, strengthening your own belief in your ability to accomplish your goals, then I encourage you to don't tell those people. Don't tell people who may not support you. That is a gift you give to yourself. That is not something that's, that's mean towards other people, right? If you're responsible for yourself and you're responsible for your success and all of that, then this is, this is going to be a key element for you. If you know that other people can potentially take you off course and this isn't about cutting people out of your life, but it's just being aware of, again, you know, that could be a form of energy leak. If you think that you have to tell everybody everything you're doing, that can be a form of energy leak. And you can nip it in the bud and reclaim control over it for yourself by being aware of what you're sharing with who and when. And as you gain more confidence and more belief in knowing absolutely you're going to reach your end goal, then you may find it's easier to, to, you know, to share with those same people who I'm going to say, I'm sure love you and, and want to see you do well, but just may not know how to support you. Okay. And then again, there may be other people who absolutely do not have your best interests at heart and do not, <laughs> do not confide in them. Absolutely do not confide in them. And let's say that you have nobody in your life that you feel is part of your support system. you can manifest and attract new people that will be supportive. And I'm speaking from experience. So regardless of what your support system looks like today, absolutely you can do things to strengthen that because that is going to be really helpful for you as you are taking those brave, bold steps in moving forward towards more inner peace, towards more happiness, towards healing, towards a specific, concrete, achieved goal. I absolutely recommend giving yourself the gift of support in some form, okay? Okay, I think I talked about that probably a little bit longer than I meant to, but uh, it's that important. Um, and let me know in the comments, you know, let me know what's resonating with you as I share this, because, you know, like I said earlier, some of these things you may already have down and are second nature for you, but other things you may be like, oh, oh, that's, oh my gosh, I'm so glad Kim said that because, you know, this, this was something that I, that was tripping me up and I hadn't been factoring into the direction that I'm headed in, right? So feel free to let me know. I'd love to know what's resonating for you, what's standing out and that kind of thing. And my fifth key element, and absolutely, there's so much more that could be said with all of this. 
But if I'm only giving you five, these are my top five. So my fifth key element in navigating your transformational journey forward, because anytime you decide to take a step forward and then another step and another step and another step and another step, you are transforming. You are transforming, you are blossoming, you are becoming that butterfly <laughs> coming out of the cocoon. <laughs> You're becoming that brave, bold person. You are becoming your version of Wonder Woman, your version of Superman. Insert any superhero that you love here, okay? The fifth one I want to share with you is you're doing all these things that we've talked about, being aware of your energy, you're you know, developing high, you know, high quality thoughts, beliefs emotions, being aware of your support system, you know where you're headed and focusing on that. And then it's important to also be mindful of surrendering. Where might you also need to just let go and allow the journey to unfold? Because as focused as you are in moving towards any, in any direction, and all the, the things that you're, you're taking action on and putting into place and, and making sure that you are being in alignment with it, there can also be a degree of attachment towards, okay, this is happening, this has to happen now, oh my gosh, you know, and then, uh-oh, but it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and if we start to get in that space, then we are actually now introducing new resistance onto our path that is not going to serve us in getting there. It's actually going to slow things down a little bit. So you're doing a great job by putting all those things into place, moving in the direction that you're headed. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And then there are going to be areas where you're going to need to let go and surrender, allow and trust. This can also be taken into a much bigger conversation that I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna not go for right here, right now. But one thing I do wanna say is that when you have those moments of realizing, okay, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to latch on to this too much and I'm not allowing things to unfold as they need to, when things don't always go according to plan, there is the, not only the possibility, but also the probability that something better is manifesting and unfolding for you because of all that awesome work that you've already done moving in the direction that you want to go. So that's why it can be really beneficial to be aware of, okay, am I too attached to this outcome? You know, you want to have that vision of where you're headed to help you generate that alignment, help you generate those, those high quality thoughts, those high quality emotions to support you in moving in that direction. And something even better can come along. So it's not about being attached to that vision because a, an even better vision can be unfolding right before you. And okay, I'm venturing into this other little area just a little bit here. There's always more going on behind the scenes than what you can see in your own personal life. So knowing that, knowing that even though you're responsible, right? You're responsible for, for your own success and your results and all of that, you also do have help. That's, you know, one of the reasons why it's so important to be aware of your energy and what you're putting out there is because that energy you're putting out there is aligning with other things in the world, in the universe, other people, other situations. And you, at, you know, when you're at point A, you don't know what those things are going to be. The best you can do is that alignment piece and putting things into action. And as you're generating that momentum, those other things you can't see are getting closer and closer and closer to you. And so when you have those moments of going, ah, it's, it hasn't happened yet. And I, I totally get this. Okay. <laughs> I totally get this. We all have moments like that, but when you're, you know, it's, it hasn't happened yet or, uh Oh, what is this other thing that's happening? I, you know, I didn't envision that, right. I didn't plan for that. 
Okay. Okay. How can you just allow things to happen and you get to choose how you respond to it and what comes next and how can this actually be in support of you in some way? And the best that you can remain open allows you to be able to receive that something better. So I hope this is making sense. Those are my five, five key elements for navigating your transformational journey forward. And absolutely, there are so many more that I could have, you know, I could have shared with you here today, but those ones really stood out. So just for a quick recap, I will share them again. So one, being aware of your energetic and emotional alignment. Two, having a destination that you're moving towards. Knowing what direction are, you know, what direction are you going to focus your energy in? Three, being aware of the quality of your thoughts, beliefs, and emotions. And what can you do to shift those into being higher quality? Making sure that you aren't, that you don't have limiting beliefs that are actually getting in the way of you moving towards your destination. Your support system, your energetic support system, as well as absolutely the, you know, the people and environment that you have around you. We didn't even talk really about environment. You know, to what degree is your environment, your home, your surroundings, is that supporting you? That is, that is absolutely, you know, something that can factor into uh, you feeling supported in the direction that you're headed. Absolutely. And number five, we talked about surrendering and whew, letting go and allowing. Okay, so now with that said, I guess here's kind of a bonus one. So this is kind of a number six. Um, so you may have noticed that I didn't talk specifically about action. But here's what I want to point out. I'm a big believer that you already know the importance of taking action. And each of the things that I mentioned are a form of action. Of being mindful of how, you know, are you what's going on with your energy and what might you need to do to shift that that requires you to do something to shift it shifting your thoughts that requires you to say i'm going to choose to not think these kinds of thoughts well, okay hold on because i'm going to choose to not think these kinds of thoughts and i'm going to choose to think more of these thoughts so how do you really do that you don't focus on i'm not going to think these thoughts you focus more on these are the thoughts i'm going to think so that's that's the little caveat there. You make a, de a, a deliberate conscious decision to focus on more on thoughts and emotions that are going to support you. And that's how you generate more energy in that direction. You're taking action by being mindful of, of course, your support system. And are you going to choose to share everything with, with everybody? Are you going to choose to manifest more supportive people into your life? Are you going to choose to ground your energy? maybe take action in your physical environment. Those are all actions because the opposite of all this is you can always choose to not, right? <laughs> you can choose to not, but when you choose to make those kinds of, of shifts, they make a difference and choosing to surrender and let go. I mean, that's, that's kind of a, I'm, I'm going to say maybe a reverse action, right? Maybe to latch onto something, Maybe that's more of the action and you're now going to choose to operate differently and allow, respond to situations differently in your life. And absolutely, as you're on this journey forward for yourself, here's where I am, here's where I'm headed. And as you're making these other shifts in your world and in your mindset, other very obvious actions are going to show up for you. Oh, oh, here's an opportunity for you. Oh, here's a person to have a conversation with. Oh, here's something that, that would be really good if you signed up for. Right? These are just possibilities. There could be a million other things that show up for you. But those are going to be very obvious things for you to take action on. So I just wanted to point that out. Absolutely taking action is a huge piece of you moving in the direction that you you would like to go. So 
those are my top tips. Please let me know what you are taking away from this. And if you're with me live, go ahead and feel free to say hello. And I want to wrap up with sharing you my special offer for this video talking all about navigating your transformational journey forward is I invite you to schedule a free coffee chat with me to see how coaching can benefit you in moving forward. And as a bonus to simply scheduling a free coffee chat, 30 minute conversation, I'm offering you 25% off of my limiting beliefs coaching session, which is this really awesome 90 minute session where we get together on zoom video, like a video chat, if you're not familiar with that. And what's an area of, you know, what's a direction that you're headed in and what are all the beliefs that you have about moving in that direction? Which beliefs are serving you, which are not. And so I really help you to weave through those and get clear on which beliefs are serving you, which are not, and then develop some new beliefs that are empowering, that support you in, in moving forward. And having those high quality thoughts that are going to support you moving forward. So that is my special offer for you. And I will go ahead and post a link to that down below in the comments. Once we're done here, I hope that you found this, this, uh, this video helpful for you. And if you have any questions at all, please let me know. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning of course of, uh, you know, what I have share with you, but also for you, if you are at the beginning of your journey forward, there are often a lot of steps that come into play. And so I just want to say wherever you are on your journey, please don't be too hard on yourself. There is something to learn from every single piece, every single piece of your journey, every single thing. And so as long as you are learning, you are growing. You are progressing. You are transforming. Because as you're learning, you're going to be integrating those learnings into who you are and how you respond, how you, you know, how you operate in your world and the world. And then one day, things may click even more. So something that's really awesome is absolutely working with a coach to help you experience those shifts and transformations more quickly. But I just also want to say, even if you're on a journey and, and hiring a coach is not, is not something that you're able to do right now, don't be hard on yourself. Continue to take time to learn from your experiences and ensure that you're integrating those into your into your being and how you operate in the world. So I'm going to leave it there. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm excited to connect with you again next week where I'm going to go into even more of the more of the energy work and the healing piece of things. And so the journey continues. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week. Actually, I'll see you tonight in tonight's live episode of the Every Day is a New Day show. And if you want to find out about that, check this, check the Every Day is a New Day show and coaching page to find out more. And uh, I'll see you then. So, okay, have a wonderful day.